Yes! Yes! <laughs> hey guys, thanks for checking out my video. So today we are going to do a how to slay your wig girl. Yes! So without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first thing I like to do is moisturize my scalp and hair with Dee Dee's Abundant Hair Elixir. So this is a hair oil essentially that is vitamin, mineral, and nutrient rich. It helps to moisturize your hair, condition your hair, and also detoxify your scalp. So I just like to put it down the parts where I've parted my hair. My hair is dirty. I need to wash my hair like forever ago, but that's the beauty of wigs. <laughs> that's kind of gross, but whatever. Kind of mindfully, just give my scalp a little massage, just briefly. Put this in about three or four times a week as recommended. Oh, so the hair elixir is made with so many oils. Coconut oil, grapeseed, avocado. Castor oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil. Oh <laughs> but it's really great if you're looking for solutions for dry hair, brittle hair, um, if your hair is thinning or if it's starting to gray. Just overall detoxifying the scalp. A lot of the ingredients are antibacterial. Castor oil, which is naturally antibacterial and has a lot of vitamin E, which is great for protecting the hair against environmental factors and dryness. So the blend also has a lot of essential oils in it, which are really, really awesome for not only giving the product's fragrance, so providing some of the therapeutic benefits such as rosemary, which helps to stimulate local blood flow, which aids in hair growth. Tea tree oil, which is effective against all three types of bacteria. It also helps to unclog hair follicles and nourish roots and scalp. I could go on, but honestly, it's something that you really need to try for yourself. If you are looking for something to condition and moisturize your hair, then I would definitely recommend this. But let's just get into why we are here, okay? <laughs> so, after I'm done conditioning my hair and treating my hair really nice, throw on my tried and true wig cap. My hair is tucked in for the most part, but I I will leave this part out. My wig is a middle part, so I, that's why I have a middle part here. And kind of slick down the hair for that one side, and then same thing for the other. This is the Harmony wig from Milky Way. It shed so much, but it's seriously so cute. I have already gone ahead and I've been wearing this wig, obviously, so I've already cut the lace. And then I've already gone ahead and put some um, eyeshadow on the part. This, I like to use my Morphe 350 palette because it just has some really awesome, like, you know, kind of neutral shades. So for the scalp part, I am going to use this shade where the part is. And then I'm just going to, I'm just going to slightly just go right along the lace and I did tweeze some of the some of the knots out, but not a lot. Normally I get really carried away. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my brush and right at the hairline, so right at this first beginning, just gonna dust it back and forth, just right at the beginning. Put this bad girl on. I'm lining up my parts and another trick make sure you're not putting it like hey forehead wig like you want to have a little bit of your hair showing which is the key to making it look realistic Just doing this video because a lot of people have been saying where'd you get your hair done at like and they've been like black women and I feel like black women always can tell so you know when you're protective styling or whatever so I'm like okay girl if you can't tell I must be doing something right if this NYX 3D brow marker. This like little brush. I'm gonna take this brush and we're gonna take our Morphe palette. I am going to go in with these browns. I'm just gonna start placing the product. The goal is to make sure that this part the hair looks dark right here. And that's why you want to start off with just a little bit first. Gonna darken it up just a little bit. And then kind of just fade it, you know, for the rest of my hairline. And I guess I could have used this first, but kind of running out, but we'll see. 
So I normally just take this and the same thing how I would do with my eyebrows, but I just like to make some flicking motions. I did forget I normally I know I don't I know I said I don't use concealer for the part, but I will use a little bit of concealer just to clean this up a little bit to make it look more like not even gonna squeeze any out actually I'm just gonna use whatever is on the tip lightly that looks good and then if I, you know, if I feel like it's too much, then I'll just take my finger a little bit and smudge it out. So I'm noticing that I want it to be just a little bit cleaner. I'm going to take those eyeshadows again. And I'm going to right where the concealer ends. Slowly, because you don't want it to get too dark. And I'm barely pressing down. Make sure you're using a light hand. And just cleaning up that part just a little bit. So I feel like right here you can see where my wig cap is. So I'm just going to use whatever product of the eyeshadow is here. I need to get a lighter color wig cap. So that's also a key. Get a get like the tan colored wig caps. But I feel like that looks fine. Let me brush her out real quick. So troubleshooting. Let's say you over tweezed. I would go ahead and go in with, you know, this brow marker or you can go in with the dark shade, the dark shadows. And so right here it looks kind of, it looks a little bit more spaced. So I'm just gonna just tap it on here just to thin the part a little bit. And then you're all good to go. Never been good with baby hair, but if you are, then I would go ahead and use some gel, some eco styler, and you know, slick those baby hairs down. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you liked it and I hope you can slay your wig even more now. Remember to like and share this video with your friends. And if you would like to shop our abundant hair elixir, go to ddbeautystore.com. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. Bye. This wig looks like it's growing out of my scalp. Yas, honey.